Hi. Hi, this is Robin from Picture Instruments, and today I will show you a little trick that will help you execute a selective white balance in a mixed lighting scenario. You can then export the results as a 3D lookup table and use it in photo and video software that supports LUTs. The standard white balance is a great thing to have if all light sources in the image have the same light temperature. This image, for instance, is mainly lit with artificial light. But in addition to that, there is a door and a window providing daylight in the image. What does not immediately become apparent is the fact that there is another window behind us allowing for more daylight to light the image. We will see that during our corrections. First, let us have a look at the effect of a simple white balance. This image was corrected using a white balance set to artificial light. The major part of the image seems to be consistent. If I switch to Lightroom and select the eyedropper tool for the white balance and select an area of the image that was lit with daylight but should be rather neutral, the white balance automatically sets the entire image to the color temperature of the daylight, which leads to a yellow tinge in the areas lit with artificial light. So for now, now, I undo my changes. Nevertheless, the bluish areas in the image that have been lit with daylight annoy me a bit. To address that, I open the image in color cone. To see how color cone works in detail, you can have a look at our introductory tutorial. For now, I just concentrate directly on the issue concerning the mixed lighting. Just like with a standard white balance, I use the eyedropper tool to create a correction point by selecting an area in the image containing my source color, which should be neutral white or gray. Then I simply reduce the color saturation of that source color. The selected area now has a neutral color and the blue tint has disappeared. Contrary to how the standard white balance always affects the entire image, I can use the radius control to define the size of the color range I want to correct. If I make the radius really big to encompass all source colors within the image, I will get a result similar to the one we just saw in Lightroom. In this case, we really don't want that, so I bring the radius control down again. If I want to know exactly which colors I change, I can use a color overlay to highlight the areas containing the colors I selected. Here, to the left, right on the wall, we then see the effect the window behind us has. Using the overlay, I can see that I have captured the window and a few other areas that are mainly lit with daylight. But I don't seem to have captured the area within the door, which still has a slight blue tint. If I make the radius any bigger, I catch too many areas that are lit with artificial light. So I just create a second correction point in color cone and neutralize this selection as well. Perfect. All colors that were affected by the daylight have been corrected with just a few clicks. While I'm at it, I might as well remove the color tint from the screen, which, in principle, is another light source with yet another color temperature. To be able to use my corrections in other programs, I can export a 3D lookup table, which I can use in many photo and video programs supporting LUTs. Now, some of you may ask about the advantage of this method over the more common hue saturation option. To illustrate the difference, I open the same image in Photoshop and remove the saturation of the cyan channel. As a result, even those areas that contain more saturated cyan will appear completely desaturated. This becomes very apparent with the monitor where the desktop background suddenly becomes gray. So I remove my hue saturation adjustment layer again and add a color lookup adjustment layer to the image and load the color correction I just exported from Color Cone into Photoshop. As you can see, I now have the exact same color correction I had in Color Cone in my adjustment layer in Photoshop, which means that I can now apply the same same corrections using my familiar environment. Of course, this also works in video software that supports LUTs. Just go to www.picture-instruments.com and get yourself a free 14-day demo version from our downloads area. Have a lot of fun correcting mixed lighting scenarios.